feel warmer temperatures before we know it. Yeah. First alert meteorologist Rachel Coulter is joining us this afternoon. Uh, we are ready for that increase in temperatures. Yeah, especially after only making it into the 50s this afternoon with the clouds and the rain that we had around. If you look at your screen, what I'm showing you is your seven day forecast in terms of your high temperatures. I'll show you the lows and the rain chances here in a second, but I think your eyes are automatically drawn to Friday. 84 degrees, our forecast high temperature. And I was back and forth about bumping that up even a little bit more, maybe even 85. So stay tuned as we get closer, may need to. We've got winds that are gonna be really strong out of the south and west, ridge of high pressure and control. That's certainly gonna allow for quite a warm up at the end of the week. And even behind a cold front, it's gonna bring our next round of rain with it. Doesn't drop our temperatures much. We're still gonna be in those upper 70s until we get to next week and that's a whole other story but we still do have some rain on radar now coverage is decreasing at this point as expected we have a first alert weather day in place and that's because of the dreary conditions that we've had to contend with since earlier today so you're looking at radar right now and you can still see some showers over our area that are pushing off towards the south and east we actually have some breaks and sunshine from about charlotte points north and westward and then to the west right in western portions of north and south carolina also seeing another little batch of rainfall as well you can see this just the south of Asheville, Greenville. It's kind of drifting off towards the south and east could clip some of our southwestern counties. Though. So heads up if you live along and south of the North Carolina state line where we're still seeing rain now. If you're tuning in and you're about to head out the door and you live in Union County up towards Albemarle, Wadesboro, Chesterfield, down into Lancaster County, Chester and York counties. This is where we have a majority of the rain, but on the far southeastern sliver there of Mecklenburg County, we're also seeing some of those showers. Let's zoom in a little bit closer and you can see some of that rainfall steady at times uh, right over 207 and 200, 601, also dealing with some of those impacts. And what we'll notice is that continues to drift off towards the southeast. The coverage of these showers hours will just continue to decrease from here. So where does this leave us for the rest of the night tonight? Don't be caught off guard if you have some rain on your windshield, but for the most part will be drying out overnight, though. I do think we get some low clouds to develop, maybe some patchy dense fog heading out the door for some of our southeastern counties tomorrow morning. But as the winds pick up, we get some sunshine tomorrow afternoon. That's going to warm up those temperatures really quickly. Still seeing the wet roadways as you take that live view right now from Matthews. There's the view from our HD tower camera in Charlotte, seeing some of that sunshine break through the clouds. 52 now as a result, we were in the low 50s, right around 50 degrees just about an hour ago. 54 right now in Chesterfield, 50 just saw that number go up in Chester upper 40s in some of our northwestern counties. So here's your hourly planner. Temperatures remaining fairly steady here the next few hours as those rain chances drop, only making it to the upper 40s overnight tonight back into the upper 70s tomorrow afternoon. That potential for 80 degree temperatures for our southeastern counties. 84 for Friday, then we get to the start of the weekend. We do have that first alert weather day in place for Saturday. We've got the ridge of high pressure in control as we head towards the end of the week. But then by the weekend, there's that cold front. So if you've got some morning plans through about the early afternoon, that's when we're anticipating some of the impacts from the rain and maybe a few rumbles of thunder, especially if this starts to trend a little bit later in the day on Saturday, we're going to have more time to get unstable and we could see more of that thunder. So that's a trend that we'll keep an eye on as we get closer and closer to your weekend. But Ultimately, once that front pushes east, if you have outdoor plans, you're a little flexible with the timing. Sunday's going to be the day waking up in the mid 50s, topping out in those upper 70s. Gorgeous conditions before another round of rain moves in Monday into Tuesday. There's some timing differences on this, so stay tuned as we get closer.